Hey, this is James Burton with ARBuildJunkie.com, and today we'd like to give you a quick tour of a rifle that's starting to generate a lot of positive attention online. It's the Evolve Weapon Systems E15. The rifle you see here retails for $1,769, and a standard model is also available, and that retails for $1,499. There are also patrol and duty versions available for $1,029, $1,299 respectively. These guns are available in 18 inch, 16 inch, and 14.5 inch varieties in 300 blackout, 556, 223 wild, and 6.8 SPC. The company Evolve Weapon Systems was founded in 2017 and it's located in McKinney, Texas. We recently interviewed co-owner Adam Tarr for an article and he was kind enough to send me over this rifle here to play with. For disclosure purposes, Evolve did provide the rifle. However, I don't have any business or financial relationships with Evolve. That said, please always do your own independent research for any firearms purchase. So this is not a definitive review by any means, but I did want to share my impressions. As so far, I've been very, very impressed to the point where this is the gun I'm shooting the most lately, and it shoots absolutely phenomenally. It's at least as smooth or smoother than any other 5.56 rifle I currently own. And accuracy-wise, it's shooting sub-MOA groups. My brother recently made a trip to a range with another Evolve enhanced rifle, and he also was having the same results I was seeing. There's some reasons behind that with the barrel that we'll talk about briefly. Evolve currently offers two different versions of this particular rifle, a standard and advanced rifle. The different trim levels account for the most popular upgrades that people would do for those who are not inclined to want to tinker with their purchase or DIY it themselves. Starting from the front here, you'll see that the rifle features a dead air muzzle device. And I think that's because while there's no universal mounting system for suppressors, the chemo mounting system is really popular. And there are a lot of guys out there that are currently using other brands of suppressors. But with this muzzle device, you can convert your existing suppressor over to something that could accept that chemo mounting system. As far as other accessories, with the standard version, you get a Raptor LT, while with the enhanced version, you get a standard aluminum Raptor. This version of the gun, the enhanced version, also comes with a Radian Talon safety, although if Radian Talons aren't available, I've heard that they're switching over to Badger on the enhanced version, which is also a very nice uh, safety selector. The enhanced model also includes a QD plate that Evolve makes, as well as B5 furniture and a Geisley trigger. On mine, I've switched out the B5 grip with one from Magpul, but otherwise this is how the gun comes stock. So moving on to barrel, I know we talked a little bit about how accurate these things are. The barrel is going to be the same whether or not you choose the standard or enhanced version. Uh, you're not going to get a lesser quality barrel or bolt carrier group just because you didn't purchase the enhanced version of the firearm. And as to why these guns are seeing such impressive accuracy, when I've talked to Evolve, it seems to be that they're just using Ballistic Advantage or Roscoe barrels that have a one and seven twist to them. But what they're doing is they're taking the barrel and they're finish reaming it. They're polishing feed ramps. They're checking the concentricity of the threads. They're lapping the barrels when necessary and also ensuring that the barrels sit true with the upper. Anything rushed or roughed up is getting taken out of the barrel before it ever is put into your rifle. So you're getting the true, clean, pristine version of what that barrel should have been all along from the manufacturer. As far as the parts that are on this gun, Evolve is the manufacturer. So the parts are made there in-house of 70, 75 forgings, and everything is personally inspected, measured, and gauged prior to assembly. And what Adam from Evolve told me is that he sets aside or rejects a lot of parts. And that's not really because they're bad parts, but because perhaps he has something that doesn't quite line up perfectly with a batch of lowers that he's already gotten made. There'll be a lot of shuffling and moving of parts around with the intent of getting a good fit between the upper and lowers. And what'll happen is a part will come off the machine He'll spec check it within necessary tolerances, and then he'll start fitting uppers to lowers. He makes the upper lugs that go into the lower, those are made a little bit wider and slightly oversized so that they can be hand fit down to the lower that he ends up selecting. And this is what ends up making a serialized set eventually. So what happens is the upper, lower, and bolt carrier, you'll see that they all have serial numbers on them. And the idea with this is, again, to make sure that the upper is matched to fit that specific lower. The thought process is the tighter that he can make these guns in the beginning, that it'll make for a better overall experience throughout the life of the gun. In addition to the serialization of the upper, lower, and bolt carrier, he's also selecting a barrel based off the chamber fitment into the upper. And then he takes the bolt and its headspace to the barrel. And that's why everything, especially that's, that bolt carrier is serialized like it is. 
And once everything is fit together, everything is still raw at that point. So it, it then goes for co the coating, which is a beautiful anodized coating, by the way. It's, it's, the gun has a gorgeous finish. So once they circle back around and are rematched, everything is put together. And while I think that's a bit labor intensive, I would imagine, Evolve says it does make a difference. So moving on, you, we've got a very unique handguard here, and it was licensed from a company called Monarch Arms. With it, you've got indexing tabs that hug the upper receiver and the nut, for lack of a better term, or, or piece of hardware where those two screws secure the handguard to the barrel nut, those actually have a tab in the middle of it. And there are other handguards out there that are similar to this, but sometimes they can collapse on themselves just by people over-torquing, and that tab that's in the middle there prevents that from being possible. Moving on on the handguard, you'll notice that there's an aggressive serrated pyramid texture on the handguard, which is available in either this or a circular pattern. And theoretically, this could give you more rail space to work with, where where the texture is, these slots are still totally usable on the handguard, whereas they wouldn't be if you had added something like a textured grip panel to your rail. So you know, the bottom line here is I really do think that this is one of the best purchases you can make in the AR world right now. You know, it's from a medium to smaller size company, um, Evolve Weapon Systems, that's really putting their heart and soul into these guns, especially now with quality control at an all-time low. It makes sense to reach out to a company that maybe is taking their time and doing things carefully and really trying to do things the right way. So I think the bottom line here is if you're looking for an excellent high quality gun with a lifetime warranty that is truly going to do everything that you can ask out of it, I'd put Evolve on the very short list right now and definitely worth your time to do a little bit more research on. So that's all I've got today. Thanks for joining us, uh, taking the time out of your day to watch this. We appreciate it. And if you have any questions, shoot us a comment down below.